Pencil marks are unwelcome on this channel. All but two of the 330 plus videos here are done without writing candidates. This is hard puzzle number 196 from Charles Timmerman's book, 1000 plus more Sudoku puzzles. But what's different about this puzzle? It was modified to use numbers 0 through 8 instead of 1 through 9, so that even software people can solve it. Let me explain. Programmers are taught early on that in code, numbers start with 0 instead of 1. That makes arrays and array math work out easier when doing software calculations. But enough of that nerdy stuff. You can find this tongue-in-cheek book, Sudoku Puzzles Even Computer People Can Do, on sudokuprimer.com that has a bunch of Sudoku puzzles for software people. Get it for your geeky friends. They will thank you for it. You can print this puzzle to solve yourself as you watch the video. Click on this link in the description below to print it. You can also go to this menu item on sudokuprimer.com and find other puzzles to print. And if you want to watch a solution for a given puzzle, there's a link to a video for it. Well, let's solve this. But we, we need to remember, though, that to count from 0 to 8 instead of 1 to 9. You notice there are zeros in here already, and there's no 9s. But, of course, remember this is row 0 here. This is column 0. This is box 0, box 1, box 2. This is box 8 and so forth. Well, stay with me, and we'll try and get through this. First of all, we got a 1 here and a 1 here. In box 4, we, need, we can put a 1 right there. All right, and now if we look in, uh, let, me, let me show you a couple of things here before we get too far along. We've got a T pattern right here and a T pattern right here that we'll probably take advantage of as we go along. We've also got um, one six twins. We've got a diagonal pattern right here with a one and a six in this in row eight and a one and a six in column zero. So these are one six twins right here. Uh, we also have a two here, ghost twos here, and so one of these is a 2, and we have a 6 here, and go 6s here, so 6, 6, so one of these is a 6. So um, I just want to point out some of those things that I found right off. Here's a 6 right here, so that's a 2. It makes that a 6 right there because of the two 6 twins we j I just mentioned. That leaves 3, 4, left in this column here. Um, so there's a 4, so that's a 3, and that's a 4. All right, so column 4 is done right there. Now, um, Let's see what we're missing here in box seven. Zero, one, two, three, four, eight. We're missing three, four, and eight. Here's a three and there's an eight, so that's a four. We've got an eight there, so that's an eight, and that's a three. So now we got box seven done. And we can also, um, Go to box six right here and fill in the one six twins that we found because of that six right there. There's a one there and a six there. All right, and now we got a three right here in box four. You, 
you notice I can do this very relatively easily um, counting starting with zero because I, I am a software developer by trade. So this stuff comes, this geeky stuff comes naturally to me. Okay, and now we've got a five here and a five here. So that means that's a five in box one right there. All right, now we've got a, uh, let's see, we've got a, uh, one of these is a five because we've got a five here and a five here. And with this T pattern, we can see the other number is a six because of this six in this column right here. So these are five, six twins, and these are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, seven twins right there. Five, six twins, four, seven twins. All right. And th so that makes these ghost fours right here. And uh, we've got, because we filled these in right here, we have a corner pattern here in box six. So, and there's a four right here in column zero. So the four in box six goes in, in row eight right here. So we got ghost fours, four, four and four seven twins here goes four there so that's a four right there all right now we can put a three three so three 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 in box zero it goes there three and in box eight let's see we've got a three here three here and a three here so that's a three right there Okay, now we can see that we have a five. One of these is a five. One of these is a five, five, six twins that we found. So one of these is a five using double column elimination. Five, five, five. With that five there, we can put a five in right there. And also, you've got a five here and a five here. So five, 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 five. So that makes this a five in box six right there. All right, now we've got a six here and a six here, six, six, six. So that's a six in box zero. Okay, and then we've got an eight here, so that makes this an eight in box zero there. And uh, we've got eights here, so eight, eight, eight. So box two has an eight right there. And we're only missing zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight here. There's an eight there, so that's a seven, and that's an eight. All right, and now this this puzzle gets a little tricky at this point, uh, but we do have uh, one, one, one here. One of these cells is a one. We've also got um, let's see a two here with this T pattern, so the two goes right, one of, the, one of these is a two, so that can't be a two right there, so one of these is a two, so we have one, two, and if we can find a third number for this, these three cells, we would have triplets right there, and we just happen to have a zero going through this gate right here, so one of these is a zero, so we have Zero, one, two triplets right here. That leaves zero, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, makes that a seven. All right, and then we've got a seven here. So one of these is a seven. Remember our four seven twins here in box five. So that can't be a seven. So we got seven, seven, that's a seven there. So ghost sevens there. Um, Let's see, so we got a seven here, four seven twins here, a seven there, so that makes that a seven in box eight. And so we got a seven there, seven there. Um, and we got a seven here, seven here. So box six has a seven right there. So we have seven, seven, seven. And these sevens make a seven here in box three. All right. And uh, remember our corner pattern here with a four in column zero. That makes four here in row eight. And uh, that makes this a four right there. Remember our four sevens here. What are we missing here? Let's see, I think it's two and seven. Zero, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, zero, yeah. Two and seven there, four and seven there. Okay. All right, so we've got, uh, what are we missing here? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's a zero and two missing there, and we got two seven here and four seven here. So we got a zero there, so that makes that a zero and that a two. And then we had two sevens here. With that two, we can solve them. Two, seven. We had four sevens here. With that seven, we can solve them. Oops. <laughs> Made a mistake there. Should be seven, seven, seven instead of four. And that's a four right there, okay? And then, um, see what we're missing here. Zero, four, six. Zero, four, and six. Here's just zero and six, so that's a four. Um, there's a five and six there, so that's gotta be a, zero and that's a six right there. All right, and now we're missing, let's see what we're missing in uh, box eight here. Zero, one, two, zero, one, and two. There's a one and there's a two, zero. That makes these one and two. With that two, that's a one and that's a two. Okay, we still have these five, six twins here we can't solve yet. All right, let's go to row two here. We're missing zero and one there. Four, five, six. Yeah, zero and one there. So one there, so that's a zero and that's a one. Box one is missing zero and two, zero and two. With that zero, that makes that a zero and that a two. Let's go to box two here. Let's see what we're missing. Zero, one, two, six. Two and six here. Five and six here. There's a two there, so that's six and a two. And that makes that a five and a six. And now we're missing zero, one, five, six, seven. So one and five. There's a five, so that's a one. That's a five. Five. And what are we missing here? Zero, two, zero and two. With that zero makes that a two and that is zero. And we solved it. Now, as I mentioned, I am a software developer by trade. So this is pretty easy for me because I'm a geek, I'm a nerd but it was a bit different. Solving numbers zero through eight is a bit tricky, but for geeks, 
it's easier than one through nine. Well, thanks for watching.